The Dell XPS 15 from 2020. This computer was just refreshed and it has a lot of options out there that creatives are gonna love. Namely, check this out, I'm gonna blow your mind. A full SD card slot, that's amazing. But could you use this as your only video editing computer? Let's find out. I don't wanna, we're, I'm still not used to this table yet and how hard I can slam some. And while we're finding out, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. What's up everyone, I'm the Everyday Dad and if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. So I'm really excited about this. I haven't used a Windows computer to edit video in like three years since I transitioned to all Apple stuff. Windows always has entranced me because I really like the hardware they have on display. Like the screen on here is beautiful, the computer's not that big. It's got a full SD card slot, like that's, I'm kind of hopped up on coffee right now. So let's find out if we can fully video edit on this thing. And what's cool about this, but I know we're dragging the intro out a little bit, but what's cool about this is I didn't have to buy anything else to make this work. The HDMI dongle came with the computer. The SD card slot is in the computer. So I didn't have to buy an SD card reader. I didn't have to buy an HDMI dongle. I did buy the screen recorder though to make sure that I could get as little of the processing done in the computer as possible. So let's plug all this stuff in. I actually, prepared ahead of time, surprise, surprise, not waste anybody's time because who likes having their time wasted? Certainly not me. We could just do this with this closed. I'm actually gonna do this in dual window mode because I do want to use this trackpad since I'm so used to the Magic Mouse. I'm so used to having a trackpad to do my video editing. We are, yeah, we are gonna be using a free program called DaVinci Resolve. I've already moved. What I've done is I took yesterday's unboxing of the XPS 15 and I already imported it and we're gonna just see, can we edit it? Can we do stuff? Now there are a few things I did ahead of time uh, you have to really, to get the most out of Resolve and to not have a lot of problems, you have to set some manual things. So just so that everybody knows where we're at, when it comes to preferences, I changed the GPU processing mode. I turned it off of auto and I turned it straight to OpenCL. Manual, I want it to always be manually using my the internal graphics. You can get a version of this with, a, with an internal graphics card. So let's see what we got here. Now that we've got the three layers. One of the things that I do really like about DaVinci and one of the reasons I've considered using it over Final Cut because I am normally a Final Cut person is it has really great audio processing. And look at that. So we, we started off, I'm not, it's stuttering a little bit, but not like too much. We can scrub perfectly well. I'm not seeing any real drops in scrubbing, but let's, the reason again, the reason that you do this you can see, we'll go over here. You see the audio is not really processed right yet. You come over to what they call Fairlight. Look at that, you get a full, oh, it's beautiful. Now this audio was not recorded as well as I'd normally prefer. Normally when I record audio, like I'm recording right now, I do the master track through the zoom, which basically gives you, it only records what happens. You don't get a lot of self noise. See all these lines right here? This is self noise, so it's not, it's not perfect. You might have heard that uh, yesterday during the video that I probably put music on a little louder than normal to make sure. But okay, so we've got the audio processed. I don't really need to touch the color too much. Oh, and it, it crashed. Okay, um, not what I wanted to see. Welcome to Windows. I, I promise I will not be saying it how much better Apple is during this, but one of the nice things about Final Cut is it's always saving. So if it does crash, generally when you come back in, you won't have an issue. So let's redo this audio right about there. Looks good. We won't mess with the colors because I'm using this new Fuji camera, which has beautiful colors right out of it. So let's see here. Let's do some cutting. I think the experience of editing is going pretty well. I'm not having any problems getting the audio edited. I'm not really having any problems scrubbing the footage, which there are two parts of video editing, right? There's the edit that we're doing right now and then there's the render. So we're gonna, if we can get to the render part, we'll be able to see. But I really like just how quick and easy it is to do the audio. The editing has not been terrible. So let's delete this. Let's control save. <laughs> so let's go over here to the beginning. The Dell XP. Cut that. Ripple delete. The Dell XP XPS line has. Okay. So let's zoom in. Let's expand the timeline. All of this is going pretty well. I'm. You know, I've always generally been like iffy about editing on Windows computers just because I'm so used to editing on Final Cut. 15 inch model. What comes in the box and... It's not getting hot though. This thing, if you saw the unboxing video, this thing has heat management. Like there's a gigantic, there's a gigantic vent on the back. There's two gigantic vents on the sides. 
And it's working, it's working Teddy. pretty good. These speakers sound really good too. I'm, I'm pretty impressed so far. What's up everyone, I'm the Everyday Dad. And if I, I can, can figure it out, out, you can figure it out. Okay, so we'll... You can figure it out. Now, I... Okay. Now, as I've said, like, when we were doing editing on, like, the MacBook Air, I don't edit off, like, the timeline. I don't edit off of what Gary is doing in here. I edit off of the audio waveform. So you'll see, even though this playback isn't the best, it's not terrible. Like, just because the playback isn't the best doesn't mean it's unusable. So here we go, there's that. So now we've got our zoom in. Figured out. Now I know, I know you're gonna be saying. Okay, but we also need to add the effect right here. So go over to the effects library. What, video transitions. We'll do a push right here. Right about there. Control S. Oh, it's heavy. What's up, everyone? I'm the Everyday Dead. And if, if I, I can, can figure it out, you can, can figure it out. out. Now I know. Okay, so that's going pretty well. That's going pretty well. And you could make the playback better if you generated all the optimized media, if you made like proxies and did it that way. But just editing the straight up 4K has not been as bad as I thought it would be. So let's go back over here. Let's go to our media pool. So we've got our introduction pretty much edited out. Like the introduction is pretty much good to go. We've edited the audio. You can see some very nice waveforms down here on the bottom that would just, that will make editing this audio, that'll make editing this video so easy. I'm telling you, if you don't edit by audio yet, you really need to. Let's do title. We add titles. We'll do a lower third. Put it right there. Editing on a Windows computer. Has the world ended? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Maybe, I never thought I'd be editing on a Windows computer. Okay, so how does that then look? Oh, I know, you're gonna be saying to yourself, Everyday Dad, Gary, you're an Apple guy. What's going on with the Windows? Not I don't know, Gary, I don't know what is going on with the Windows. But that looks pretty good. You can do some, we already transformed a little bit. You can crop, dynamic zoom. Um, that looks pretty good. Go back over to the media pool. Let's add some B-roll now. I like that the audio, even though I've deleted um, the clip, the audio still stays linked. That's pretty nice. Let's see here, delete this, come back over here. Okay, let's try, oh, there was a stutter in the, there was a stutter in the scrubbing, but I haven't seen any stutters, like, doing the actual editing. It's not as fast as I'm used to for Final Cut, but it's not, like, inhibitively. Like, it's not so bad that I couldn't use it. Those stuff, and I've always What's wanted to get an XPS. One of the very first videos we made here. Dang, can you, can you see that? There's no slowdown on this one. And this, so th these are both 4K files. Man, can you see that? There is no slowdown um, here. And I've always wanted to get an XPS. One of the very first- It's running at 30 frames per second, which is what I shoot in. Uh, that's impressive. Like that's, I find that to be pretty darn impressive. That, uh, here on the channel was about okay, now there's a little bit of a slowdown. Alienware. Was about an Alienware laptop. So that's two layers of 4K and it's still running pretty well. Let's add another layer, but we also need to move back over to Gary doing something over here so we can see if it's really working. Yep. Control B, delete, come over here. Was about an Alienware laptop, true story. Let's crack this thing open because I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about this. And thing. there's not, I'm because not seeing any slowdowns here either. Second. Probably gonna break my mind. That's look, it's still, that's also running at 30 frames per second, okay. Okay, I'm I'm getting more excited as we're making this video. Like, I'm pretty impressed. This is the version, like I said, this doesn't have an internal GPU, this is just the integrated graphics. And I really didn't think this was gonna work that well. So let's, so we've seen that you can edit. Can you use this to edit in DaVinci Resolve? Yes, make sure you do a lot of control saves because we've already had two crashes. Um, but besides that, I think it's doing pretty well. So what we're gonna do now, like I said, there's two parts of video editing. We've seen that the edit can work perfectly fine. So now let's see how fast the render goes. So we've got that clip with three layers of 4K. We'll extend this because we, we also put MacBook through its paces like this. So we've got three layers of 4K. We've got edited audio. We've got a transition and we've got some titles. So what you do is you go over to this little guy. This is the XPS test. Let's get our timer ready to go. So we will export the video in, we'll do MP4, because this would go up on YouTube. We will continue to do 4K, Ultra HD. Quality, I'll leave that at automatic. So let's add everything to the render queue, add to render queue, add 
And then let's, hold on, let's get the timer ready. I'm sorry, the stopwatch. Why do I always say timer? Ready, get set, go. Start, it's probably gonna take a while. Look at this. It says 20, well, it's going down pretty slow. So hopefully it doesn't take 24 minutes to render this video. That would, that'd be pretty rough. It is slowing down. So it's probably gonna take about 20 minutes to do this five minute clip, but we do have the timer going. So through the magic of this video editing, you guys don't have to sit here and wait, but I, I do. I do, I have to sit here and wait. So we'll see you back in just a couple minutes. Okay, and we're back and we have just about finished up. It says we have about 15 seconds left. Something before the render stops that I wanna mention is the fans kicked on pretty quickly as we're doing this. So editing is a very intensive task for CPU and GPU. So I would expect in a laptop to have the fans kick on, but something I'm noticing and it took us, hold on, it took us 22 minutes to render that. It just completed, it took 22 minutes and 16 seconds, but hold on, like it's not that hot. Like it's warm, but I do think the thermal performance on this thing is gonna be pretty darn good because it's been working at max capacity for 22 minutes and it's warm, but it's not overly hot. And that's very impressive to me. I really think they did a good job with the thermal performance here. So to answer the question at the beginning of the video, can you use the brand new XPS 15 as your only video editing computer? Yes, absolutely. You saw we had no problems besides the crashes, but that's, that's a program thing. There are lots of different editing programs that you could use. There's Premiere Pro, there's DaVinci Resolve, there's Premiere Rush, there's all sorts of stuff you could use. So don't, don't take the crashing necessarily as an indicator of Windows performance. So yes, you can edit. Yes, you can render. It did take a little bit longer, but again, there are optimizations you could take to make that even faster if you have a little more time on the front end. But yes, you could absolutely use this as your only editing machine. Things I liked, I really like the SD card slot. I really like the thermal performance. I really like this keyboard. I really like this trackpad and this display is gorgeous. I continue to enjoy it. And I also, to make this video possible, I really liked that the HDMI dongle came with the computer. We didn't have to buy anything excess, like we didn't have to buy any dongles to make this video work or to even set this up to be like a desktop type replacement. And thanks to today's sponsor, Squarespace, you can create your own very beautiful website. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a professional website, online store, or portfolio. It's easy to claim a domain slash URL, create a custom site that matches your style and bring your ideas to life. Head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash everydaydad to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And thank you for watching.